So most of my lipsticks I keep in this top drawer right here. Please excuse this mess on the top. I have to sort through all of the stuff that's up here right now. I just, it's so messy. But anyways, most of my lipsticks are in this top drawer of this unit. So let's uh, check this out. It's really, really bad. It's a mess. An absolute mess in here. There's also like a horde of lipsticks over here and it even goes like underneath there. It's very messy and I need to sort through this. So what I'm gonna do I think is take everything out of this drawer, lay it all out on my floor, sort out the stuff that I need to declutter and give away to friends, family, or the woman shelter that I like to donate my makeup to. Then I am going to reorganize this. I'm using like little boxes that I've kept from various things. Like I think this was my phone case. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention that I also keep lipstick in here. So there's a whole bunch in there. And I also keep them on my shelf as well, like in that drawer there. Can't wait to do this. I feel like it's a long time coming. It's gonna be a long video, but we can do it. I mean, I can do it. You guys are just watching. <laughs> hey you guys, and welcome to the final day of Lipstick Week. I am so excited we are here. I hope you guys have enjoyed the week. Always one of my favorite series to do, so if you want to see it again in the future, please let me know. I thought to finish off this series um, this time around, I would do a lipstick collection video and at the same time a declutter. I have realized as I've pulled out all of my lipsticks, they are lying on my bed right now and I can see them. Um, I have way too many. Like a disgusting and embarrassing amount of too many. Just seemed like the perfect time to do a declutter and a um, lipstick collection video. I'm only going to do actual lipsticks, so lip crayons, bullets, and liquid lipsticks. I'm still suffering from a cold, so I'm going to be sniffling a lot in this video. It's gross, I know. Caught something and it sucks. I'm pretty sure it's the guy that coughed on me on the bus. I'm so mad with all this coronavirus and stuff going on. Like, why don't you cough into your elbow? Anyway, I'm pretty sure that's where I caught it. Show you guys where I store my lipsticks. It's kind of like a, like, it's like a mosh pit in there. It's disgusting. I hate my lipstick drawer. I feel like as somebody who loves lipsticks, as much as I do that I would take better care of my lipstick drawer. I'm going to keep any of the new lipsticks that I've just purchased for this uh, week series. All of those ones I'm gonna keep separate and I'm just gonna keep them because obviously they're new and I'm not gonna like declutter them right away. But I have had lipsticks in my drawer for like five years. I wonder if I actually still have the first lipstick I ever bought. I might, I might still have that and gross. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for following along and uh, I guess let's just go ahead and get started. By the way, I didn't mention it but I'm wearing my Spock glasses. I always feel like these are my Spock glasses. I'm having my Spock mug and some coffee. I've laid out all of my lipsticks behind me. I'm not going to swatch everything because there's a lot and I feel like I will die. Okay, this is as good as I can get the camera to show all of these. I'm gonna start by sorting, I think, by brands and then by, oh, did you guys see my Harry Potter socks? My friend gave them to me to pick them up in Ireland and they're little Harry Potters. I'm gonna start by, yeah, sorting by brands and then sorting by type. That is everything is sorted. That took me so long. I, wow. And that is a lot of lipstick. I don't even know where to start. This is so overwhelming. Look at all these beautiful Maybelline lipsticks, like all lined up here. They look beautiful. These are my L'Oreal Rouge Signature lipsticks. Honestly, I do like all of these. I really like the formula of them. It's so hard. Okay, I think I'm gonna keep these. I feel like once I find a formula I like, it's so hard for me to get rid of anything, you know? These are my L'Oreal Infallible Liquid Lipsticks. This is like my favorite formula 
of liquid lipsticks that is currently available at the drugstore. So I already know I'm gonna keep Cowboy. I'm also gonna keep the shade Nudist. I'm gonna get rid of Plum Bomb because I just don't wear it enough. I'll keep Shakedown, it's a nice brown shade. Matador as well, because it's really pretty red and I don't really have a lot of well, I do, <laughs> that's a lie. And I think I'm gonna keep Milk and Cookies, but I'm definitely getting rid of Plum Bum. So I'm gonna leave that over here. I mean, these are, like I mentioned, these are like my favorite formulas, so I don't feel like I need to get rid of them because I really, really like them. And it's hard to get rid of something when it just works for you. I'm doing such a bad job already, this is embarrassing. Wait, you know what, let's get rid of these. These are the LA Girl Matte pigment gloss and I have the shade, I think it's called Rebel and I have the shade Fleur. I'm gonna keep Fleur but I'm gonna get rid of Rebel because I just don't wear it very often. Okay, the Wet n Wild liquid lipsticks, I don't actually like the formula but I'm going to keep this one which is Give Me Mocha because I like the color and I'm gonna keep Flame of the Game because it's a really beautiful red. But I want to get rid of Nudist Peach because I never wear it and I want to get rid of Coral Corruption. I wish my camera lens would just focus. I want to keep all of these NYX lingerie liquid lipstick. I have After Hours, Exotic, Seduction, and Push Up and I like all of them. These are the Ofra liquid lipsticks and I think I'm going to actually just get rid of all of these and give them all away. I know they're not like a drugstore brand so they're not cheap. But I don't even know why I have them. I have Miami Fever, Honolulu, Atlantic City, and then I have this brown one, which is called Brooklyn, and I have this black one, which is called The Bronx, and I don't wear any of these. I honestly didn't even like the formula of them, so I'm actually going to get rid of all of those ones. It makes me feel a bit better. I'm still keeping way too many and not getting rid of enough, so we need to do better. We need to do better. Okay, the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I'm going to get rid of the shade Mocha because I didn't like it. It's like this nude shade that I just don't like. I keep these two. This is Plum This Show and this is the black one which is called Pitch Black because I don't really have a black since I just got rid of that Ofra one. So I think I'm gonna keep both of these. These Revlon ones. These are the Revlon Ultra HD Hyper Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I have the shade Spice. I think this is Scorpion Red. And this one is Sunset. I'm gonna get rid of Sunset, but I'm gonna keep these two because I love Spice. It's like one of my everyday favorite shades. And this one's such a fun and vibrant neon orangey red. So those two I'm keeping, but I'm gonna get rid of this one. Okay, these e.l.f. Sheer Matte Liquid Lipsticks. These I really like the formula of, but I have a huge problem with them and it's that they leak oil. Like anywhere that I put these, I just find remnants of like oil. I am going to keep this one, which is veneer, I think it's called. Yeah, warm, no, what? This is called warm verbena. This one is called praline petal, which I'm gonna keep. And I'm going to keep this one, which is pink peony, but I'm going to get rid of bright poppy. I have to figure out, like maybe they just need to be stored like upright. I wanna get rid of this. I only have one of them. This is the NYX Slip Tease lipstick in the shade Low Key, and I just never wear it. Gotten rid of a lot of my Milani Amor Matte Lip Quid lipstick. I am going to get rid of the shade Covet because I never wear it. It's the brown, but I'm gonna keep Loved because I actually, you know, no, I'm gonna get rid of it. I used to love the shade Loved. It was like one of my favorite warm, rosy nudes, but I just don't like this formula, so I'm just gonna get rid of both of these. However, I am gonna keep the Satin Matte from Milani because I only have one. It's in the shade Elegant, and I really like it, so I'm gonna keep that one. Physicians Formula Healthy Liquid Lipsticks. I have the shade Bear With Me, Nutritious, and the shade Berry Healthy. I am only gonna keep Bear With Me because I actually don't wear these two that often anymore. I used to really like them, but honestly, now I don't really wear them. So I'm gonna keep Bear With Me because it's a nice nude, but I'm gonna get rid of these two. Oh my God, there's like oil on my floor from those e.l.f. things. These are also from e.l.f. These are their liquid matte lipsticks and I have the shade Tea Rose, Praline, and Wine Tour. I am going to keep these two, which are Tea Rose and Praline, but I'm gonna get rid of 
Wine Tour. These are from Folklore, and I have the shade Deep Chestnut and then Chestnut, and I wanna keep both of these. They're actually a really nice formula, and they last a really long time on my lips. From Joe Gia Cosmetics, I have the shade Monroe, Frida, and the shade Collab. These ones were actually sent to me by the company, and because they were so brand new and I used them for a swatch video, I gave my sisters all of them. So I kept the three that I really liked, but I'm going to give away the nude because I actually don't wear the nude so much anymore. These two are just like one-offs. I'm gonna keep this, it's the Revolution Pro Supreme Matte Lip Pigment in the shade Affection, which I really like. I love this shade actually. And the BH Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade Jan, which I like to call Yawn, and I like both of these, those, I've been avoiding those. They are my Maybelline ones, but let's tackle them. Oh my God, I can't even put them up. Okay, so from these guys, I'll get rid of this one. This is in the shade Ruler. I feel like I'm gonna keep the rest of them. This is the shade Fighter and Groundbreaker. This is the shade Globetrotter, Pioneer, and Voyager, which I really like, and Heroine, which I also really like so I you know what this is a really good formula and I think I'm gonna keep them because I actually really like them okay moving on let's uh, declutter the bullet these right here are the wet and wild mega last lipsticks and the silk finish I just put them all together this one is in the shade don't blink pink which is like a bright pink so I want to get rid of that this one is in the shade Smoking Hot Pink. Actually, I'm gonna keep Smoking Hot Pink. I'm gonna keep Mocha Licious, even though it's really old and gross. Uh, you know what? No, I think this is too old. Actually disgusting. I'm going to get rid of Mocha Licious because it is all gross and white and fuzzy, and it's probably bad. So let's um, get rid of that one. Purdy Pert Simmon is a really pretty coral shade, so I'm gonna keep this one. What is this? Raven Raisin, I'm gonna keep. I wanna get rid of Stoplight Red, mostly because I don't wear reds anymore. And from these, these are the Silk Finish versions, and I'm gonna get rid of the shade What's Up Doc. But I wanna keep this one. This one's in the shade Cashmere, and I wanna keep it because it is a metallic brown shade that's actually really cool. Actually, you know what? I wanna get rid of Smoking Hot Pink, because I'm not gonna wear it. I know I'm not gonna wear it. Oh my God, these. So I love the Kitty Cat Matte Lipsticks. Like I love, love, love them. This one especially, Tour Tricot Griffs, I have loved and adored for a very long time. And look how disgusting and dirty the cap is. Maybe I can switch it. I wanna get rid of Coral Cat. I wanna switch the cap so I have like a clean cap on my Couture Tricot Griffs. And put the dirty cap on Coral Cat. So I already know that I'm keeping everything in this container here. I have my Essence, this is nude lipsticks. Makeup Revolution Powder Matte Lipsticks. This is Rimmel Renew Lipstick in Nude and the City. Then I have this Maybelline um, Shine and Chocolate Lust. And then I have these three, which are all from L'Oreal. And they're just kind of like shiny nudes, which I really like. So I'm gonna keep everything in here. I already know that, and I'm not gonna bother trying to declutter that. I really don't understand how people film these videos. It's so challenging to get everything in shot. But let's talk about these, which are the Maybelline Creamy Matte. I am gonna keep Touch, Touch of Spice, one of my favorite lipsticks, and I feel like it was one of my first, and it's old and gross, but like I just can't, Get rid of touch of spice like i can't do it but i want to get rid of lust for blush i want to get rid of mesmerizing magenta which is a really pretty magenta shade but honestly i don't wear it you know what i'm gonna keep craving coral because i love these types of coral shades in the summer and i'm going to keep burgundy blush as well i'm gonna keep both of these because i really like them these are their intimate nudes i have raw chocolate one of my faves and i have almond rose which is a really pretty like mid-tone nudie pink shade i'm gonna keep stormy sahara which is from their nude uh collection and it's like one of my perfect nudes let's do these three these are just random maybelline ones that i have i'm gonna get rid of this it's in the shade hot plum i think it's their vivid lipstick, but I never ever wear that. No matter how much I tell myself that I'm going to wear that shade, I'm never going to wear it. <laughs> Coral Burst, I do like, but again, 
I feel like I'm not gonna wear it. And I didn't wear it last spring. You know what, I'm just gonna get rid of it. I did not wear it. But I'm gonna keep this one, which is their powder matte. And this is in the shade Carnal Brown. It's just like the coolest color. I don't know how to describe it. But um, I wanna keep Carnal Brown. I haven't done these ones yet. These are the Loaded Bolds. One of my favorite formulas from Maybelline. I really like them. This is tough. These are like my fall shades. Like I would only wear these in the fall. Um, Mauve is this beautiful like deep mauve. I don't know why I'm saying mauve it, but then calling it mauve. Smoking Red is this really pretty like burnt red shade. It's like a brownish red, deep, deep, deep red. Raisin, Raisin is one of my favorites, so I'm keeping that one. It's like, a, obviously it's like a raisin color. And then Gone Gray is just so cool and interesting. It's kind of like this dusty, smoky, nude brown. So I'm going to keep all of those actually, which makes sense. That's like my favorite Maybelline formula. And then these were from their Made For All collection. I have the shade Spice, which I'm keeping. It's such a pretty terracotta. For the fall time, I have Mauve for me, which I'm gonna keep as well. I like that one. And I'm gonna keep the red. It's this nice, pretty matte red. I would pretty much only wear it in videos, but I do like it, I'm gonna keep it. So that's Maybelline. I didn't do the best job of decluttering Maybelline, but I did my best. I didn't do my best. I did a terrible job. These I'm all gonna keep because I just got them. I'm testing them out in lipstick week. So anything that I've bought for lipstick week this time around, I'm gonna keep. These are the Physician's Formula Rose All Day lipstick. Same thing with these L'Oreal ones. I'm not the biggest fan of these and I'll probably decutter the nude and the coral eventually, but for now I'm gonna keep them because they're pretty new. They're the L'Oreal Matte Crayons. And then the NYX. Dazed and Diffused lipsticks, I love. I love these so, so, so much. I have five shades, two of them are still in the box. I love all of these and I'm gonna keep them. The Maybelline ones, um, I'm going to keep Enjoy the View, Hustle and Heels, Live on the Edge, but I think I'm going to get rid of these two, which are Accept a Dare and Stay Exceptional. Oh, I know, you know what? These, I just, I like these. I, I'm gonna keep these. I'm gonna keep all of them. I know that's so bad but I really like these and why am I getting rid of something that still gives me joy? The NYX ones, lingerie push-up lipsticks I'm also keeping because they're just some of my favorites and I know that I don't need all of them, but I really like those, so I'm gonna keep those. And I'm gonna keep this guy as well. I only have one, it's the NYX Powder Puff Lippy, but I love it and I'm gonna keep that. These ones are kind of new. They are the Alter Ego lipsticks, they're liquid lipsticks. But again, like when a company sends me liquid lipsticks, I usually just pick out the ones that I wanna keep and give the rest to my sisters. So I know I'm gonna give away Mind Games because it was the one that I didn't really like. I wanna keep Intrigue and Euphoria. I don't know why these are still in the boxes, I don't know. Jealousy I really liked as well. I don't know if I need Vanity, I don't know if I need another red, you know? Yeah, you know, I'm gonna keep vanity as well because they're still pretty new in my collection and if like six months down the line I feel like I don't need them anymore I will give them away but let me just keep those the last one by the way was infamous these are staying right yes I did not declutter these oh I suck at this I might not even post this video I'm so embarrassed okay I know what these ones these are the Catrice ultimate matte lipsticks and I love them I love the formula but I opened one of them the other day and it was all like messed up. It had like gone moldy or something. I don't know if it was mold. Yeah, this one, it's got all these like white dots on it. I don't trust it anymore. It looks like, kind of looks like when Jaclyn Hill's lipsticks were all messed up. That's what this looks like. So I'm wondering if these were expired and they were in the shoppers and had gone bad. The shade 010 is still good. So I'm gonna keep that one. Oh, and this was like one I really, really liked. Uh, it sucks. 090 is messed up. And was this one okay? Messed up too. Sucks. 05. So I have to get rid of all three of these. I don't know if it was just the, the ones that I picked in the store that were expired. If they all do this. I don't know. If you've had these Catrice Ultimate Mattes, please let me know if yours have gone bad on you really quickly. Because these are not old. These are like not even six months old. Okay, I've been avoiding these, but these are the NYX Suede matte lipsticks and I've been avoiding them because I love them. They're my favorite lipstick formula like of all time. So I have Cherry Skies, um, I have Cans, Lavender and Lace, Free Spirit, one of my favorites. One of my absolute favorites, so probably my favorite is Soft Spoken. Uh, I love that one. And then Cold Brew, Smudge Me, which is kind of like an interesting, oh my god, Lolita! 
Love Lolita. This is actually my favorite. Girl Bye. I like that one too. Like I don't need all of these, but I really like them. And they're my favorite formula of bullet lipstick, so I, I kind of like need to keep them. And this one is in the shade Shake That Money. Um, but yeah, that was not a declutter. That was just a collection. Okay, let's tackle Milani. These ones right here, like all of these are all Milani. They're just different types of Milani ones. Okay, let's do the bolds first, the bold mattes. I Am Smart is a really pretty nude that I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep I Am Confident. I Am Fierce, this is another red. I don't need it. Okay, I don't know, I'm gonna keep that one for now, but I'm gonna get rid of I Am Happy. Even though I love this shade, I just, I don't need it and I have to get rid of something, so I'm gonna get rid of that. These ones are all of their regular lipsticks, not their matte lipsticks. So right away, I know I'm gonna keep Naturally Chic. I'm gonna keep Sweet Nectar for like my orange and I'm gonna keep, keep Rose Hip because I have like an emotional connection to Rose Hip because it was one of the first bright lipsticks I bought. So I'm gonna keep those, but I'm gonna get rid of Teddy Bear and Rose Femme. I just don't need these ones, so I'm gonna get rid of those. I've been doing this video for so long that my camera is dying. But let's keep going. These are the matte lipsticks, so I know right away I'm gonna keep Matte Beauty, because I love that one. I'm gonna keep Matte Confident as like the red shade. I'm gonna get rid of Matte Love because mine's also messed up and broken. I'm gonna keep Matte Naked because it's a nude that I like. Uh, L'Oreal, I just have a, an assortment of different ones. This one's new, so I'm gonna keep this. It's Luminous Pink. It's from their Hydrating, or their Age Perfect line. Ava's Red because I like that one. I'm also gonna keep British Red. And I'm gonna keep Rebel Rouge, which I can't think came from their matte line. And I actually really like that one. But I'm gonna get rid of Ferris Nude. I feel like it's a nude that I never wear. And I'm sure there's somebody out there that wants that nude. I'm gonna get rid of all of these. These are the Kiss. Egoism lipsticks. I do like these and they're all fun colors. Like I have the shade Black Dahlia, my cone, which is a gray, and then I have Sorrento, which is like a green, but I just don't wear them enough to justify keeping them. Plus I have fun shades in the NYX suede's that I like, so I'm gonna get rid of all three of those. I'm gonna get rid of this one. I got it for free. It's uh, for Makeup Revolution. It's another red shade that I probably have somewhere in here. So I'm gonna get rid of this guy. Oh, this is like, ah, I'm gonna keep this one. This is an emotional keep as well. This is 107 in Kate Moss Rimmel. I just, I can't part with that one yet for like emotional reasons, so I'm gonna keep that. But I think I can get rid of this one. It's the peachy shade, it's in 32. I used to love it, I wore it all the time, but I feel like I don't need it anymore, so let's get rid of that. Oh, I can never get rid of this. This is the e.l.f. Velvet Matte Lipstick in the shade Brick, and they don't sell it anymore, and it's like my favorite shade, and I can never get rid of it, so I have to keep that because I'll never be able to buy it again. CoverGirl, I think this is one of their like Outlast lipsticks in the shade Fireball but I'm gonna get rid of it because I don't wear it enough to justify keeping it. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one from Annabelle. It's their Edge lipstick. It's actually really nice. This is in the shade Gabriel, but I don't wear it enough anymore to justify keeping that, so that's going. These are my two lipsticks from H&M. I really like them, so I'm gonna keep them, and I only have the two, and they're really pretty, actually. This is from the brand Artistry, and it's a really pretty nude. I feel like I'll keep it because it is like a cool lipstick and I don't have any other ones like it. So I'm gonna keep that one. Oh, this is like me being bougie. I have two MAC lipsticks, so I obviously can't get rid of these because they're the only high-end lipsticks that I own. I have Twig, which is really pretty, and I have Smoked Purple, which I don't wear, but like how can I get rid of the only like high-end lipsticks that I own. This is from NYX. It is their matte lipstick in the shade Butter, which I'm going to keep. Oh, these are so good. These are their full throttle lipsticks. I used to have so many more, but I decluttered them, but I kept the shade Locked and I kept the shade Kiss the Dust. I think it's time to say, no, it's not time. It is not time to say goodbye because I don't think they make them anymore and then I'll never, be able to get them again, so I have to keep those. These ones are from Revlon. These are their new Shine lipsticks, which I tested out this week for Lipstick Week, so those I'm gonna keep. There's also all of these ones from ColourPop, which are new, and I'm gonna keep them because 
I actually haven't even like tried them out yet at the point when you're watching this video. Those ones I'm gonna keep, but like separate because I'm still testing them out. That's terrible. That's so many lipsticks. I feel like I need to go through this again. Yeah, no, I'm gonna go through it again. I can already say I'm gonna get rid of Raisin, Raisin from Wet n Wild. I don't need that one. And you know what? I'm gonna get rid of Pretty Persimmon as well because I feel like I have the shade, this coral shade in other ones. So I'm gonna get rid of that. This is as good as we're gonna get today. I feel like I'm burnt out and exhausted from looking at all these lipsticks and I guess this is more of a collection video and not really a declutter. I hope this gave you a good idea of how many lipsticks I own and how much I love them and how bad I am at decluttering. I feel disappointed in myself. I mean, I didn't do that bad. I got rid of a, at least like a third of my collection, so I don't feel as bad. And I'm gonna start decluttering more often so that I can continuously reevaluate my collection and get rid of products as need it and when I realize I don't really wear them and why am I keeping them then I'm gonna toss them or not toss them donate or give away so I hope you guys enjoyed that let me know what you'd like to see next for my drugstore makeup collection video I have done highlighters bronzers blushes foundations and now lipsticks so let me know I think maybe eyeshadow palettes because that is a mess like that eyeshadow palette drawer is a mess as well i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and supporting the series don't forget to follow me on twitter and instagram please subscribe if you would like to see more videos and i will see you in my next one